artistry here and today we're going to be doing this makeup look right here it's so cute right it's nice and basic this is gonna be an everyday makeup that you can do if you're just running out of the house or you just want to slap some makeup on and you want to be all cute for the day so this is what I usually wear if I'm just like you know in a rush or I just want to look cute real quick I'm gonna update you guys on the new products that I'm using in the video to let you know if I like them if they are lasting all day and all that good stuff but before we get into the video please subscribe to my channel be a part of my mermaid squad you know you want to join the fam so come on just hit the subscribe button it's free you know it's really easy to do so just click 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 and don't forget to put the notification bell on so you know whenever I post a new video and yeah let's get started with this makeup look right here because I don't want this video to be too too long for you guys so yeah if you want to see how to get this simple everyday makeup right here just keep watching all right guys so I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine and I'm actually going to do like a little challenge for myself I'm gonna see if I can do it under 15 minutes I would be happy with 10 but we're gonna do 15 minutes because I want this makeup tutorial to be something pretty easy and if you have a busy lifestyle then you can just take 15 minutes out of your day just do your makeup real quick and get out the door so let's get started I'm going to time myself on my handy dandy phone here and then we're gonna get started so this like I have nothing on my face just my skincare so I'm not cheating or anything like this is legit all right all right I know you're hella close and I'm I'm really sorry about like my pimple situation but you know it's that time of the month so my face just wants to you know do its thing <laughs> all right so let's get this started so I started it so let's get started I don't want to waste any time here so for my brows I'm gonna do them on camera it's literally the same products I'm gonna be using but I don't want to cheat so I'm gonna do my brows real quick um, and I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Blade in the shade Ginger Snap. So for my brows, it's not like, it's nothing crazy. I don't really define them too much because this is my everyday makeup. So I'm just gonna take the pencil side first and just fill it in a little bit. And they've actually been growing pretty nicely. I'm gonna link below what I've been using. I've been using castor oil every single night and it's helping them grow so nicely. So if you don't slip on it, if you do it like as a routine every single night then you'll see them grow so i like to go on the side of my nose here and then mark where i want it to start because my brows don't start right in the front like there's some hair missing right there and then i take the marker side and then just flick up to add some more hair right in the front and this just gives it like that hair type look this mirror is so dirty it's gonna sabotage me because I can't really see too well and I don't have time to clean it ah <laughs> like racing the clock right now and I'm just gonna brush it out with my little spoolie and then I'm gonna take this Urban Decay brow finisher in the shade ozone which is like a clear and then just brush them up so they look more like hair all right now let's move on to our eyes so you guys already know I'm gonna be taking my Urban Decay primer and caffeine and just put it all over and this just helps it stay on you know you know all that good stuff blend with my finger and for this look we're literally only using one eyeshadow which is awesome and I'm sorry I know I'm not gonna show you the eyeshadow because it is discontinued but I will link something down below that's similar but this eyeshadow is just so freaking bomb and it just makes my eyes pop and it's just like so nice see look at that it's like a pretty coppery brown shade it's so pretty and it's really shimmery and I'm just taking this flat eyeshadow brush just to really just put it all over the lid smooth it out I like this brush because it's nice and fluffy but still flat so you can apply it and then blend the edges out and that's exactly what I do nothing too precise you know this just kind of wakes up the eye so it doesn't look so blah especially if you want to do this for every day literally we're done like that's it and honestly you can use your finger for this part since it's just like the one eyeshadow you know you don't have to go too crazy you can just take the eyeshadow swipe it on and then blend it with your finger or I like to use a brush because it blends out a little bit easier and for mascara I usually take a lash primer but I'm actually not going to use it because I'm going to be using this new milk kush mascara that I got in my little sample with the new foundation that I'm gonna use so I'm gonna try this out by itself see how it is okay and this is no lash primer this is just 
my lashes. And I also put castor oil on my lashes too. And that's really been helping them become nice and strong and long. Ooh, look at that. And that's just one coat. That's so pretty. Hopefully I like this because I need a new mascara. I'm bored with mine. And I just like to blink and roll my mascara. So it gives me some volume and definition. All right, so I'm gonna do two coats, but I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. And then we're gonna move on to the face. So for primer, since this is mostly milk makeup, I decided to bust out my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm just gonna put this all over my face, especially since I've been breaking out. I need some nice hydration right now. All right, sorry if I'm going too fast. <laughs> I feel like I'm like racing right now. Um, but it's like everything I usually do, you know? So now we're gonna try this Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. It's a matte foundation. And I saw some girl talking about this foundation. She said it's really good because it's a nice everyday foundation. I haven't tried it yet. So I definitely wanna try it out and see how I feel. And if you order this online, cause I ordered this from their website since I don't support Sephora anymore. And that's like a whole nother story um, that I'll tell you after this timer. <laughs> but um, for the foundation, definitely go a little bit like the swatches online look a little bit lighter. So my the first shade that I got is darker, which I'm gonna keep since uh, I'm gonna use it for summer. But just go, I would go a shade lighter than what the chip looks like on the internet. You know, Does that makes sense? So you wanna shake it up, cause when I first tried this, like just to see the, if the color matched, um, it was separated. So make sure you shake it up. And I'm just gonna do two little dots for now. And then for the brush, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brush that I talked about in my last makeup tutorial video. I actually really like it. Oh, psych, just kidding. We're gonna go in with my um, corrector first. And this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Pro Customizer in red, you guys already know. I'm just gonna dot this around my mouth. I still do this step even though it's my everyday makeup because I just want my skin to look flawless, you know? So this helps with that. We're just gonna blend it with this little fluffy brush. And as I always say, make sure you really blend it cause you don't want it to peek through the foundation. And then it just changes the whole color of your foundation. It just, it's not cute girl. It's not cute. I really need a t-shirt <laughs> saying it's not cute. Cause I say that all the time. So we're gonna go in with the foundation. Hopefully it matches. Oh my God, it's so dark. It's okay, I have a lighter concealer. But look how it goes on. I really like it. It's literally blurring. It goes on really nicely. And I'm not gonna set this with anything because I wanna see how it wears since I have oily skin. But look at that, that looks really nice. The color's a little dark like I said, but I mean, and I can always lighten it up with the concealer like I said, so. Ooh, I really like this. It covers like all of my acne scars. And it just, it doesn't feel heavy. It feels so nice and lightweight. I'm excited. I hope this lasts all day. And I'm gonna show you guys, like I'll come back with updates to let you know how it's looking. Pretty. I like that it's still kind of glowy too. Like it's not flat matte, you know? All right, moving on because we, we ain't got time. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna go on with concealer. This is a Stay Naked by Urban Decay in the shade 60 and N. And instead of swiping it like down, like I usually do, I just go like here just to cover the red. And then I still do everywhere else. And then I'm just gonna take another brush. And this is just like a fluffy um, kabuki brush and just pat it. And this is so much easier when you're in a rush instead of a beauty blender because I feel like a beauty blender takes a little bit more time rather than like the brush, like look, I'm already done with that side. And then just go over here like I usually do, just to make sure that the eyeshadow is nice and crisp. And then I take the foundation brush again and just go over here, just so it looks a little bit more blended. So it's not obvious that my concealer is really light, you know? And for powder, we're gonna be using the Ben Nye Banana Powder and just set right under our eyes. So I'm gonna set under my eyes because I already know the concealer is good. Um, but I'm not gonna set my, what? I failed. That was 15 minutes? Wow, okay. I mean, listen, you could go out like this, just pop a lip gloss on, okay? 
Like, I did it, okay? I'm just gonna do my... <laughs> I... I'm just gonna do my way, okay? I knew it wasn't gonna be 15 minutes. I had a feeling that I wasn't gonna make it, but it's fine. But like I said, you can do this. Just pop a lip on and you're totally good. Um, but I'm gonna finish, so... I don't know, technically I guess I met the 15 minute rule. I don't know, is that cheating? I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you think I made it or I, I just didn't make it? So back to setting under our eyes. Um, let me just make sure there's no creasing. And then I'm gonna set really lightly cause it's not too much to set, you know? All right, so I'm actually going to use something new. So this also came in like a little set. This is for my birthday. I got this in from Sephora before I like boycotted them. So this is by Milk Makeup 2 and the color is Work. Oh, okay, Work, that's cute. Um, and this is just a lip and cheek stain. So honestly, the 15 minute thing, going back to that, if you wanna pop this on your cheeks and your lips, like that's it, you can do it. Um, this color looks pretty good. Hopefully it's not too pink because y'all know how I feel about pink. I think it's like way too pink for me. I'm not a fan of this color, but it is what it is. I'm more of a peach girl. Peach bronzer, that's it. So I'm just gonna pop this on before I put um, my bronzer on. Okay. I mean, she barely shows up, but she's kind of there. <laughs> you can't even see it on camera. Like, dude, it doesn't look like I even did anything. And I like a lot of blush uh, when I don't have like really any makeup on. And I'm just gonna blend with my finger. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, if they have other colors, I would definitely try it out. If you're lighter than me, this will definitely show up on you. But I love the concept of these things because like I said, if you're traveling or if you're in a rush, you can just use it on your lips and your cheeks and be done. All right, now we're gonna go in with this bronzer. Yes, I'm still using the crusty bronzer, okay. Listen, we gotta get all of it, okay? <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it with my angled uh, duo fiber brush and just put it on my cheeks, my jaw, you know, all that good stuff. I feel like that made my cheek like hella shiny in like a bad way. Like I, I'm not feeling it right now. <laughs> like why am I so shiny? I didn't even put highlighter on yet. I'm gonna like powder this down a little bit. Yeah, see how it's not as shiny? Like, cause that looks weird. And I have pimples over here, so that's not cute. All right, and let's do the nose because I always forget my nose. So let's just do that right now <laughs> before I forget. All right, for a highlighter, you're gonna kill me again. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. I'll leave um, a similar one down below, but I really like this highlighter, especially for every day. So I'm just taking my Morphe M510 brush and I'm just going to lightly, like see how it gives like a nice glow. You know what's really similar to this is the um, Topaz by Becca. So I'll link that down below cause this is very similar to it. This just has a little bit more gold to it. But it's just like, it's there, but not, you know? So this is perfect for every day. If you're not trying to blind anyone, you just want like a nice natural highlight. I'm really upset. Like, I'm upset. I thought I could do 15 minutes. It's cause I like was talking and I took, for, I always take forever with my brows. My brows are just like, they just take forever. All right, now let's just do a second coat of this Kush mascara. I heard mixed reviews on this mascara. So I wanted to try it for myself. I can only imagine if I had it with the um, primer, like I feel like they would be so nice. And now I'm gonna take this um, eyeliner by Urban Decay and this in, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's in the shade uh, Whiskey. So I used to use this on my lips all the time, but then I fell in love with BFF3 by ColourPop. So I'm just going to put this right under my eye. And this just gives you some definition. Like sometimes I'll switch it up and I'll do the shimmer on the bottom or I'll do the eyeliner. So today I was feeling the eyeliner. And then I'll put a little bit of shimmer in the inner corner. I'm gonna use a different shade though just to make it pop, you know? Cause it's gotta be, you gotta be popping, even though you're natural. And I'm just uh, blending this out with a C528 brush by Crown. All right, now we're gonna do the Kush mascara. And I usually go back and forth again between um, bottom mascara and not bottom mascara because my eyes are like more almond shaped. They're a little bit smaller. So sometimes it could be too overwhelming, but other times like I like it. So 
It really depends. Today I'm gonna put it on though, since we have some definition on the bottom already. Ooh, this is really good for bottom lashes. Really like that. All right, now the last step for our eyes, I'm gonna take this eyeshadow. This is by Urban, it's called YDK. And I'm just gonna take a small, I didn't bring a pointer brush. So I didn't bring a pointer brush, but you can use that. I'm just gonna use this eyeliner brush and just pop it right in the corner. And this just makes your eye open up a little bit, makes it look like you got more sleep because it's nice and bright. All right, so I think we're done. We just have to do our lips now. And that's it. See, this is very quick, simple. It's fine. You'll meet the 15 minute mark because you're not gonna be talking like I am, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> so for lips, I'm gonna use the same thing that I've been using. I've been loving this Mel Cosmetic lipstick. Like, it's just so nice. It's such a good nude. So I've been loving this like trio. So I do the ColourPop Lip Liner by BFF3 first. Then I pop the Mel uh, lipstick on and this is in Voyeur. And then I go back in with the lip liner. Ombre it out. And then the last step is this So Juicy Gloss in Partly Rowdy. And I just do like one, two, three, like that. And then mix it around. Cause it's really thick. So you really don't need a lot. And last time I had lipstick on my teeth, so I'm gonna make sure that does not happen this time. And that's all you gotta do. See all like the excess on my finger? So, you know how I feel about being in here. The lights just flickered, so I guess it's time for me to go. <laughs> I can't stand being in here. I feel like it's haunted, low key, like I don't know. All right, so that is my everyday makeup. Like that's it, that's all I do. Um, I will keep you guys updated on this foundation though. I'm kind of upset it doesn't really match me, but I mean, summer is coming up, so it's fine. It is what it is, but I love how dewy it is. I love how it gives me like that skin look. It doesn't give me like that flat matte look and it doesn't feel heavy. It feels really nice and lightweight. Okay, I'm touching it now. And so let me see. It is transferring because I didn't set it with anything. So that's kind of to be expected. Um, but I just hope it doesn't wear off. My face loves to eat foundation, so I'm just hoping that this stays on all day. I mean, if it doesn't, I will be putting some powder and all that stuff on. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. I love it. And yeah, let me just do my hair and then I can come back and look a lot more presentable. <laughs> so here is my everyday makeup look. I love the foundation, like I'm really excited about it. Um, like I said, I'm gonna let you know through the video. I don't know how it is right now because I'm gonna be inserting clips throughout the video. So I just wanted to do this outro here with this really nice background. So yeah, I will keep you updated with the foundation and the mascara to let you know if it's worth it or not. For my everyday makeup, I like to look like I'm not wearing too much makeup. Like my skin looks like my skin, which I really like. So this is literally skin goals. Like I want to not be able to wear foundation at all. But yeah, this is how it looks. I think it looks really good. And this is just a chill video. I have my hoodie on, you know, just chilling out. This is my everyday, so. Yeah. All right, guys, so I told you I would update you. Um, we're gonna start now. So I stopped filming like maybe 10 minutes ago. Um, it's three o'clock right now. And this is what it looks like. Let me get closer to the window so you can see. So this is natural light. So you guys can see. So it looks pretty good to me. So I'm probably gonna have this on until like 10 o'clock tonight um, because my bedtime is like around that time. So that's like a good solid seven hours. So. I'll let you know. Um, and my skin type, I have oily skin. Um, really oily combination because in the winter it's a little dry. I think it looks nice, looks nice and dewy. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, I probably look crazy because I took a nap. I was really tired. Um, I actually worked out this morning and I went way too hard. So yeah, I slept in my makeup so I can show you guys. Um, this is the natural light. I'm a little oily, which is like, you know, I expected that because I didn't set it or anything. But I mean, it's still looking pretty good. I'm trying to see, I can't, I don't have like a mirror in front of me, so I'm just using my little viewfinder. Mascara is looking good. It did bleed on like this side, so I'm not too happy about that. But yeah, my skin looks dewy though. It's not like, it doesn't look terrible for me. I actually like it. And over here, I always get like creasing no matter what. So that's to be expected as well. But yeah, loving this foundation so far. My lips are gone because like I said, it took a nap. But look at this lip liner. Lip liner is still there, $6. Definitely go try them out. I love ColourPop. 
So I will update you guys at 10 o'clock. Um, I think me and Travis are gonna go for a walk because it is kind of nice today. So we'll see how this holds up. So I'll see you guys at 10. All right, guys, I know I look crazy. I'm so, so tired. It's um, almost close to 10. It's only 9.50, but whatever. So I'm going to walk to the bathroom. I mean, you can kind of see it now. Okay, so update on the foundation. So the foundation definitely fell off a little bit. Um, let me like get closer so you guys can see. It definitely came off like around here, definitely around here as well. I'm super shiny. Yeah, I think my skin just like ate it because I didn't set it with anything. But overall, I really do like it. I feel like if I set it with powder and setting spray, it's gonna be good. So yeah, and I'm barely surprised because the blush is kind of still on. I don't know if you can like tell. I know when I put it on before, you couldn't really see it, but I still see like a tint of pink. So yeah, and I'm really sad. I'll take my glasses off for the mascara. I'm really sad because it like flaked. You see how it like flaked up here? And then it flaked like underneath my eye. You guys can see. So not a huge fan of that. Um, but the foundation definitely love. I'm really sad about the mascara because it leaves your lashes so freaking soft. It definitely flaked and transferred. So not too happy with that one, but foundation for sure love. And I actually do like the pink color. I feel like once I set it and like, I don't know, once I play around with it, I think it's going to be good. So yeah, that's just an update for the foundation, the mascara and the cheek and lip tint. So I'm gonna wash this off right now and go to bed because I'm really tired. It's like, like I said, it's almost 10 o'clock. So yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be a part of my mermaid squad. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.